This glacier in Antarctica looks like it's bleeding. It's called Blood Falls, and it's long baffled scientist. So if you want doom, you should doom candy. Enjoy. What is causing this? Of course, science has its answers. But I still got questions. The Earth is cracking up. And I mean that, literally. Doom, 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 be doom, be doom, 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 wah. There were other people. Why should you be the only one involved? But I am involved. We are all involved. Stay cool. Well, this changes things. <sighs> this is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host. Thor. Today we have the Earth is cracking up, and I mean that literally, metaphorically, mentally, and spiritually. Now, in a literal sense, we have an enormous crack that just opened up in the middle of the Arizona desert. Combine that with the massive sinkhole crack in the northern cape of South Africa. Combine that with our Antarctic crack, which is a really big crack in Antarctic ice shelf. That just got bigger. And then we can throw in all the sinkholes we've seen lately. Some have been enormous house swallowing. So, which came first? The human mind cracking up or the earth cracking up? You know, the chicken or the egg? A two mile long crack in the ground has been discovered in Arizona's Tater Hills. They can be dangerous and they can be deep. Scientists say there are 11 miles of cracks in the area. They have ruined homes and roads. This is some unbelievable drone footage showing a huge crack in an ice shelf in Antarctica. It's 25 miles long and it's so big that it's even forcing the British Antarctic survey team to move their base 14 miles away to a safer location and scientists are really worried that the crack could destabilize the entire ice shelf. A huge volcanic explosion in Mexico. What you just saw is the Colima volcano exploding throughout the nighttime hours. They ended up closing down a nearby airport. A giant sinkhole devoured part of a neighborhood outside of Philadelphia. The crater opened dangerously close to two homes. We do have some sinkholes every now and then around here, but not like this. Never. But there's not much that can be done, except to watch them carefully. I was saying at Thor News, when the sun acts weird, the weather acts weird. 
and people act weird. Well, we're all insane now. Congratulations. But do try to enjoy life. You know? One thing I know is sometimes when you go online in the digital world, it's filled with hate, anger, insults, doom, gloom, displaced aggression, blame games. But if you step outside the house, the world is a beautiful place. And it doesn't feel doomy. And it doesn't feel gloomy. So I'm going to recommend to everybody enjoy the simple pleasures in life. And be sure to get outside more often. Try and spend less time in the digital world and more time in the real world. You think you can handle that? But that's just a suggestion. It's not an order. I mean, heck, even the sun has a giant crack in it right now. Though, technically, the term for it is a coronal hole. And coronal holes are normal. I don't know about this one being normal, though. It looks creepy. Real creepy. My own personal guess would be that the sun transfers energy into the core of the earth, causing it to grow. So the earth is in a constant state of growth and evolution. And it is kind of weird that we keep taking steps backwards as the earth keeps moving forwards. And I would say the volcano activity on the planet seems to agree with my theory. But hey, these are the new times where everyone's opinion equals facts. And the more passionate you are about your opinion, the more of a fact it is. So I don't know, man. Stay cool. Be cool. Because when the sun gets the solar shakes, the earth gets earthquakes. Shake, 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 shake it. And I'll keep you posted. God bless everyone. Yeah, I don't know if you know this. like a big fantasy science fiction mythology action movie.